Hi everyone. In this question, we're going to solve the square root of 5 minus square root of 21. We have to simplify this. How should we solve it? This question is really nice, but the problem is <clears throat> there, are, there are methods of solving. Um, are there any methods for solving this question? Of course, there are many but today one of the best method for dealing with these kind of questions not only this one uh, we are going to reflect we are going to solve that now let's reflect if you want to simplify it what should the result look like first we should think what should the result look like uh, of course the result should look like this square root of a minus the square root of b <clears throat> we should work with this a and b we should find the values of a and b so, so now let's regard this as an equation the left hand side there are two square roots and on the right hand side we have a and b so first what we will do on the left hand side we'll try to remove the big square root and then square on both sides let's let's do that so when we uh, square both sides the square root gets cancelled so we are left with 5 minus square root of 21 is equal to and on the right hand side we are left with square root of a minus square root of b the whole square because we are squaring both sides now as you can see this as you see this you identify that it's an identity it's a formula a minus b the whole square that's a square minus 2ab plus b square so we're going to substitute that so we have 5 minus square root of 21 is equal to square of this term square and root gets cancelled so you will have a and then you have minus 2ab so a and b are under the root so i'm going to take that root a and b and then you have plus square and root gets cancelled so you're left with b so that's how we have converted into an identity now <clears throat> from one equation we can get system of equations first let's let's combine these two terms 5 minus square root of 21 is equal to let me bring it this time a plus b minus 2 root a b now as you can see can you think of something can you compare something that's what i said from one equation you can get system of equations how by comparing now let's see a and b <clears throat> you can compare it to 5 because it, it's almost same a plus b equals to 5 and the other equation which you can find out is now before before writing this is this does not look similar to this one so what we are going to write is i'm going to write it here itself because i don't have space 5 minus square root of 21 is equal to a plus b and we're going to put this 2 inside the square root so that will be 2 squared when when it goes inside square root of 4 becomes 2 again back so we have a b now we can compare this term to this term so we have another set of equation that will be 4 a b is equal to 21 when we compare so we have from this we have a b equals to 21 divided by 4 <clears throat> all right so we have two equations now what can we think we have a plus b sum of Two variables and here product of two variables when you have something like this how should we solve this we should think of an identity and squaring that let's see a minus b the whole square what will you get when you have a minus b the whole square you can write it as a plus b the whole square minus 4ab <clears throat> you can even now as i have written i have a plus b i have a b that's how you can write it in terms of a minus b the whole square 
Now let's let let us substitute. A plus B is five. So five squared minus four into twenty one over four. That gets cancelled. So you have twenty five minus twenty one. That's equal to four. <coughs> A minus B the whole squared now this term A minus B the whole square should be positive since A is greater than B we have a condition which is A is greater than B is greater than 0 now because it is greater than B this whole term is positive so we can write it A minus B the whole square is equal to 4 you will have a minus b is equal to uh, take square root on both sides so that will be 2 a minus b is equal to 2 and we already know our a plus b is equal to 5 so we're going to write that a plus b is equal to 5 now we can solve two sets of equation right by using elimination method so first of all you can write it as 2a eliminate b's and you'll have 7 so a will be equal to 7 over 2 <clears throat> and what about b you will have uh, negative 2 b's a, a cancel then you have negative uh, 3 so you have b is equal to 3 over 2 so you can solve using elimination method you can find a and b now let's substitute back in this square root of a minus square root of b let's substitute back so we have square root of a minus square root of b so which is equal to now this is a fraction it won't be that easy let us substitute and find out square root of 3 over 2 now you can split the square root square root of 7 over square root of 2 minus square root of 3 over square root of 2 now what can you see in this <clears throat> you have the same denominator Taking the common denominator, root 2, you have root 7 minus root 3. Now, I really don't like this denominator because it is irrational. So, what we can do? We can rationalize the denominator. Let's rationalize. When, when you're trying to rationalize, you multiply the same denominator with numerator and the denominator. So, you have square root of 7 minus square root of 3 times square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 you are multiplying and dividing by the same denominator now what do you have <coughs> so you have square root of 7 into 2 that's equal to square root of 14 minus square root of 3 into 2 that's square root of 6 and here you have square root of 2 and 2 whole square that gets cancelled so you left with 2 that's your answer you've got your answer in terms of square root of a and square root of b so i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting always and making lk logic the best channel thank you so much bye bye take care